So um, I leave straight for the airport from here, and I go to London, then I'm going to Malta, which I'm wow. so excited about. My great-great-grandmother's from Malta. How I've wonderful. never been. So I'm going with a genealogist. No, 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 no. Meghan Markle <laughs> is not an angry black woman. She's a white skin bully of mixed race. Let's, let's call things by the correct labels. She wants people, basically her, to be allowed to live her th truth, to be allowed to tell her truth to harm people. <laughs> no. Meghan Markle is a white woman of Bairaj, and I keep, I'm going to repeat it until it actually sinks in, who has been called a bully, has been accused of being a bully many, many times, okay? She's talking to herself in those podcasts. I don't know why they have 28 producers. She wants us to believe that she's particular. No, Megan, you're abusive. You've been accused of being a bully, which is a form of abuse. So now you're having co coffee. The implication is that she couldn't have coffee before because guys, remember when she said <laughs> that they took the keys away, that they took her passport away, that she was nearly a prisoner. She was not allowed to have people over. She was not allowed to go out. Therefore, she couldn't have people over for coffee. That's why she stopped drinking coffee. But now that she's in the States, She's having coffee right, left, and center because she's having the time of her life inviting people over everywhere. Now, I'm going to give you a little detail. Do you guys remember that NAACP award, <laughs> the $100,000 that was given to Archwell? Well, this Safia woman, Umoya, the, Megan, the, the one that Megan is talking about in the book, got the $100,000 from Archwell. Can somebody not see how bad that is and how fishy that is? So Megan, you're not a black angry woman. You're a white skinned bully who is a liar and a slanderer and things shouldn't be called your truth. There's no such thing as my truth, guys. It's lies. So she wants to be allowed to live in this fantasy world that she's created, which is actually quite unhealthy and she needs to be mentally checked because if you can't live in reality and you keep making things up and pretend to live in those things, it can actually affect the children, or if she has any, of course, and those around her. Because if you're living a lie, you have a serious mental health issue. And if you're, if you're truths, and they're not truths, like Kate Blanchett said, they are facts, there is the truth, and there are things that you make up. Now, when you make things up, that are lies about other people and you say them in public, that's called defamation, okay? And you're not allowed to defame people. Do you remember Amber? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just so funny that now she wants to call herself a black angry chick. When she said herself that she, she never, ever, she was too light to be black. Oh, I have a question also guys, by the way. Do you remember what she used to talk about how she never got the roles because of her of her race, how she was discriminated against of her race? And now she's saying that she was never discriminated until she got to meet Harry at the at the and the royal family who were so racist that they gave her a 32 million pound wedding. She got to wear an incredibly expensive tiara. She was given over a million pounds in allowance for clothes. She was given all perks and privileges. She was traveling around right, left, and center. She gained a huge platform. And by the way, she hasn't stopped using it. So which one is it? Was there racism before or was there not? Now, I think that really, that really bothered me. And I'm going to laugh because I can't help it. But this woman has had more Latino roles than Salma Hayek and Sofia Vergara put together, which pisses me off to no, to no end, you know? Now she's talking, when she auditioned for black roles, the black roles were always edgy, angry. Hell yeah, that's good. That, that shows that black women don't put up with shit. But when has she ever auditioned for black roles? And I wonder if she ever auditioned for Tyler Perry, to, uh, you know, in one of his movies. So can you, somebody please tell me, is she a black angry woman or is she a white skinned biracial woman 
who wants, who's not particular, who is a bully. She's been accused of that. Or, and who walks on eggshells. Let's remember that this woman literally, literally breaks in front of people to walk into a room. pretending did you see Harry's face <laughs> she's pretending to be this naive of innocent person this is a woman who will push her out of her way in order to be center stage okay so please tell me which one is it Megan now you're 43% Nigerian by the way Samantha Markle told me yesterday we were laughing I mean Megan Markle is running out of places to claim that she's from next time she's gonna say she's an alien from Mars she's 43% Marsh Marsh because <laughs> I mean what, what else is coming whether the black people like it or not uh, Doria has a very very white relative in the form of her great 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 grandmother and if we go by the one drop rule Harry and the Queen are also black so please Meghan Markle remember that interview you did with Rachel Ray you said that you were going to Malta with your genealogist because your grandmother was from Malta. That's also false. You know, that lady was a white UK or Irish or something like that who just went to try her luck with her family in Malta. It didn't work out and they went back to, to the United Kingdom. Now, Samantha told me that Meghan Markle never lived hung around a view park that the closest she got is because you know her her grandfather on Doria's side lived around the view park and she went maybe a couple of times when she was a child but she never hung around there they lived in Canoga Park uh, Vista del Mar and um, the Hollywood Hills and of course Meghan Markle never hung around black people so please leave me your comments and tell me which one is it is Meghan really a black angry woman or just a white bully? Please tell me what you think.